guys what is up I'm making this vlog because I just wanted to make a YouTube video pretty much based on my first time getting lash extensions mind you I have the smallest lashes in the world so getting lash extensions is crucial to my appearance but um they're usually really expensive but you know this time I was like we're gonna do it like fuck it right so we are going right now to Glamour, Glamour Lash Orlando, I believe is the name. And my girl Jessica is gonna do my lashes. So we're just gonna take a trip and hope that this goes okay, okay. So let's go. I'm driving there now. Kids do not videotape and drive ever. But I just wanted to mention that these glasses were the Rocks and black and gold lashes that Jaclyn Hill created with Key. They are stunning. I'm feeling it. Um, so yeah, I gotta get a little bit of advertisement. I am running late because these past few nights I hadn't got a lot of sleep, but today is the day that I felt like sleeping in until 10 o'clock. Why? Don't know. It's fine. My appointment's at 10:45 is 10 33 right now we are like 10 minutes away but we can do this i have faith um i had to throw on a little turban and you know lay these edges a little bit and throw on some you know hoop earrings because the bigger the hoop the bigger the success you thought i was gonna say ho didn't you the bigger the hoop the bigger the success i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it you know so today i'm going to learn and try and help teach myself and you guys how to maintain these lashes because a lot of things that i see with others getting lash extensions is that they fall out fast they don't know how to take care of them their eyelash band like their the root of their lashes are as dirty as shit you know like we are going to try and learn a little bit about how to maintain um, these lashes. That includes getting a fill every like two weeks, I think, is getting the fill. Um, so you're not spending an overabundance of, you know, like with your nails, it costs more to get a full set than it is to get a fill. Yeah, bitch, this is the same thing. So if you're trying to keep these lashes for a long damn time, a long, peri a long period of all of time. We have to sit out here and wait a long period of all of time. The buses are nasty. Then we finna find out how to take care of them, when to go in, what you can and can't put on these lashes because we wear makeup on this channel, okay? So if we're wearing makeup on this channel, I don't want to get my lashes all fucked up because of it. So let's learn together on lash maintenance and more. Ding! We are here. I just blow it. Alrighty, I'm back guys with a little pamphlet that is the after aftercare instructions on these lashes. It is five right now, so it's been like four hours since I've got them finished and completed. So I wanted to just make a video on how to take care of these lashes afterwards and share my experience of the first pair of lash extensions I've ever gotten. So my experience wasn't horrible, I actually really enjoyed it. All you do is just lay down and they put the little pads underneath your lower lash line so that your uppers and lowers don't get confused with each other. And then um, she just applies them and you have to come with your face uh, clean with no makeup on so that uh, obviously so that the lashes are clean. Um, she'll clean them beforehand so that all the residue is off of them. And then she primes them and then puts the lashes on. I have the classic lashes, which means it's one lash per lash of my own. So there's another one called the volume lashes, which could be like three, a little three piece lash for per one lash of your own. So that that's for like people who don't have a lot of lashes so that they could have more volume when it comes to their lashes. I have like a shit ton of lashes. So um, I had enough for the classic type. So she gave me like a little like guide so that we can talk about what, or well, it's for everyone. She gives this to everyone, but it's a little guide for the aftercare instructions. It says, do not get your lashes wet the first 24 hours so that is important so that the glue uh, dries fully 
so that you don't um, experience any falling out of your lashes and that um, it is secure in spot. And she also told me that to, um, it says avoid saunas, steam rooms, steam facials, etc., for the first 48 hours. Which I did not know, but the steam of a hot shower, the steam of a facial, or anything can also open the cuticle up of your eyelashes and then release the um, release the glue from the lash, and then your lash will fall out. So don't um, do that. Okay, so like the sauna at the gym, no. So the next thing it says avoid oily based eye products, creams, and mascaras. So with these, you cannot wear mascara at all. You don't use an oil based face wash. Do not use an oil based eyeshadow, like a cream shadow. Do not use like an oily eyeliner. Don't use anything on your lash band, including lash lashes. So these are fake lashes already. You don't need to be going and putting like more fake lashes on them to make them natural uh, or to make them more dramatic. Just if that's just how they're going to come out of your eyeballs. So um, the next one is Use only water-based makeup and makeup remover. Oh, my dog wants to say hello. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello. Okay, go away. Thanks. Go back. Go back. Go. Leave me alone. Sorry. Okay, so it says use only water-based makeup and makeup removers. So um, that means even um, like for your eyes, no rubbing or anything external of that on your eyes. Try and keep like just like she gives you a cleanser so i'm going to show you the cleanser in a second she gives you a cleanser to how you wash your lashes and all you do is literally like i'll show you when we get to that part okay so um and it says just gently brush lashes with a disposable clean mascara wand twice a day so right in the morning when you wake up and then right before you go to bed when you take your makeup off easy peasy lemon squeezy okay it is recommended to clean lashes with a clean fluffy makeup brush and lash cleanser daily you can purchase lash cleanser through glamour lash this is the cleanser she gave me this is the little box that it comes in it is called the lash bath signature foaming cleanser um barboletta is the brand of lashes that she used and this is the cleanser that goes along with it. It looks like a foam, you know, foam thing, five, 50 milliliters in this little bean thing. And then when she talks about a mascara wand or like a lash wand here, I have a little example of what it looks like. It's called a spoolie. If you don't know what a spoolie is, then learn, okay? But um, it looks like one of these. So you're just basically just gonna brush. She brushes on top. So I would suppose that you brush on top, on top of the lash, like one of these, you know those Instagram videos? They have, they be having everything satisfying and shit on me. So it says, do not perm, tint, or use lash curl, eyelash curler. Hmm. So obviously you have your lash extensions on, don't get them permed, duh. Don't get them tinted, duh. But the lash curler, I did not know because you figure, but whatever. You would, whatever. Be careful to avoid pulling lash extensions or rubbing your eyes. This is something she also told me is that you cannot sleep on your face. You can't sleep on your eyeballs, like with your face in your pillow. You have to sleep like next to it, you know, with your head against your pillow, like in a coffin. Um, but do not sleep on your face or rub your eyes intensely. If you have pink eye or an infection or something, get them taken off. If you're allergic to the glue, which some people can be, this particular glue she used does not have formaldehyde, but some companies apparently do have formaldehyde in their um, cleansers. So do not use that at all. You know, if you're allergic, take them off and don't use that lash like extension brand, switch brands, obviously. Please see trained lash technician to have your lashes removed. Yeah, this is also true because they use a special lash removal oil to take their lashes off so that um, you just, they soak them and then all they do is just like take them off and it's easy piece of lashes. If you take your own lashes off, you're probably gonna rip your own eyelashes out and then you're gonna be stuck with no lashes, no lash extension or no lashes. That's not fun. Okay, so then the last one is to extend the life of your lashes, please schedule refills to every two to three weeks. These are just like your nails, ladies and gents. When you need a fill, go get them refilled. It costs less than the actual price of the lash extensions. That is the last thing on this little pamphlet right here. 
Um, and all I could say about lash extensions is if these are only really good for people who have medium to low lash volume or length of lash. And um, if you're like into wearing fake lashes and stuff like that all the time, um, you won't be wearing them with this. So if that makes you uncomfortable, don't get them. Like those small little things, just don't waste your money if you're not going to be committed to it because it's an investment. Like you wanna don't wanna have to pay 130 every time you go because you wait until five weeks, six weeks goes down and they're all falling out rather than just going every two to three weeks religiously and getting them done. Just like your nails, you wanna be committed. Um, but other than that, I've had so a uh, good experience so far. Like my eyes don't itch, my eyes don't hurt. Um, they don't feel uncomfortable. Like I don't really feel them on my eyes, but touching them, they are kind of like rough in touch, but then again, they're synthetic lashes. They're not real hair on my eyelashes, they're synthetic. Um, so they don't feel like uncomfortable. Um, but they just do not feel like soft and fluffy. But other than that, she did a beautiful job. They look super natural, super clean. I didn't want to look like one of those, like, what, like, caterpillar eye shits. Like, ugh, I did not want to look like that. So she didn't make them, but she made them nice and natural so you can see. But, yeah, so that is all for this experience. If you want to get your lashes done, if you live in Orlando, definitely check her out. If you don't live in Orlando, then I cannot help you. But other than that... That is all I have to say about this, so thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it from my cell cellular device, no extra camera, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. Bye!